it really was good there in the 90s and things and Castellon Bear even up to the 2000s you know Castellon Bear was booming like you know but since that we had decimation of our fleet really because we decommissioned 70 vessels out of the fleet between 2005 and 2009 because the we had enough quarter from Europe which was a disaster from first day really you know we, we should have got a proper quarter because we have the most productive waters and all that you know they all know it like French, Spanish and everyone where to come for the fish and the Dutch and you know so it's a shame to see coastal communities decimated like and even all around the coast that time them 70 boats went it was a massive loss I think the co-op lost about 23 boats that time you know Castellon Bear Fisherman's Co-op you know 20 to 25 percent of our fish uh, depending on whose figures you look at uh, was taken from us and, and given to the UK in the TCA deal has that made your life easier or harder or, or what what do you think is the future for the industry after losing that? No, it's, it's, there's, there's no positive positive talking every minister or, or, or everything else was that went over to Brussels or had talks with, with the English or anything it was just a giveaway we, we never got anything positive out, out, out of any talks so as far as I'm concerned they're, they're, None of our politicians or anything that that are in power are not doing their they're not doing their bit to help the the rural communities, especially fishing, um, because Jesus, just the way the way I see it, like to, 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 there'll be nothing there'll be nothing left in these in these rural areas in in, in ten years time. It could be all farm vessels inside her. If if there was one word, one word that you could think of that could help turn things around, that you needed to get, what would that word be? Well, the one word would be is we need to get more quota. Like you know, we have to get quota because there's no use coming into into the industry anymore. The the, the banks are any any the banks won't even look at any young fellow coming inside to get a loan, try to buy a vessel now these days or nothing because they're they're only being laughed at because the the future the banks know there's no future in it in for local people. If a new decommissioning scheme comes in, what in your mind would cure that? What would we need? to stop those boats from being decommissioned? What would we need to see to come back to it? Uh, obvious is more quota. Quota. Quota, that is the answer to everything. Uh, and that's what seems to be reflected in all the interviews that are here, if we had more fish. You're a young fish. But even not. with the more quota, it's... Difficult. It's a difficult industry, yes, exactly. Even I would, is the industry still a, as appealing as someone going to working for Facebook or Google getting new entrants into it, probably it's it's it still isn't. But now with less quota it's yeah. Your prognosis for, for the future is bright because you believe the stocks are rebounding and coming back, but the key to it is more one word. One word. It's two words. It's one word. Quota. Very simple. It's the only word, it's the only thing that our industry is lacking. We have the ambition, we have the, the skills there to harvest it, we have the boats to harvest it. We're re there's people reinvesting into the job, we're not on our own, there's other people who have made these lifelong investments as well. But without that one word, of fish or quota that has been taken away in the last couple of years in the swipe of one biro. I can't see why we can't get some of it back in the swipe of a biro.